Hey guys, we are back with what is possibly the last episode of Outlast. So, what I've got to do... Hey, Billy! What would make that really creepy? From Billy's patient support, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratch deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. That's kind of crazy. I never had to use this. Flashlight off. So this is Billy. Ugh. So yeah. I will be possibly. Ah, crap. Really? I gotta do this in sync? Wait. No battery. As you were, creepy dude. As you were. Oh yes, this is not good when I see that. This is Billy's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. F it all! Brick it! He has to die! Yes, I see people have already tried to stop him. Uh. And yes, what I was trying to say is I will be doing the whistleblower. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to. <laughs> Tell me there's some kind of valve puzzle. Crap. Uh. Okay, where's Billy? I just hear noise behind me. Bad noises. Hmm. Wait. Oh, yay. Uh. All right, Billy. We've turned off part of you. Now we're going to turn off the other. Oh, door open. That's not good. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Couldn't give me an elevator? Couldn't give me an elevator. Oh, wait, no, because that would make it too easy to catch me. Seriously. This unlimited stairs. Ooh, that was close. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, uh, come on. How is that fair? And my favorite orchestra is back. <laughs> All right. 
Billy. It is time to die. Where is it? <laughs> oh crap. I thought Billy was dead. This is the living nanoparticles taking over. Oh yeah. dude has been through hell and back and he's still not giving up of course it doesn't help the fact that he's got the wall rider stuck inside him come on buddy almost there Uh. Come on, just gotta get to the elevator. Come on. Oh, come on! God him. You have become the host. Oh. Uh, wow. So, yeah, that was the main story of Outlast. I uh, guess I'll let the video play here and just talk for a little while. So, pretty much what they were trying to do, if I remember right from the little bit I did show you guys of reading they were working on trying to create nanoparticles uh, for what exactly I don't know but they were sort of loosely basing it off of this book called Prey by Michael uh, 
Kritchner, I believe. And pretty much what they were doing was they were using human cells to build these nanoparticles, which in turn became the Wall Rider. Somehow, either because of Billy or because of just the fact that it's using human cells, it sort of became sentient and got loose. And what they were doing was they were using all these patients at this mental asylum to, well, screw up, well, to build these nanoparticles, but in a way, try and turn this place into a factory of sorts. Which it worked, but it went too well. And it just, everything, as you can see, went this way. So, those are my thoughts on what it was. I think that's what they were going for, was the fact that they were doing nanoparticles. Since he mentioned several times nanoparticles. And in fact, it's sort of the same results as Michael Kirshner's book, where they would infect people. So, Kirshner? It's Prey. That's all you need to know. Look up that book. I think I have been talking too long, but I might be sounding completely derpy and crazy at this point. But, hey. Finally got out last time. Now I just gotta do Whistleblower and I am done with this game. How long is these credits? Can I do anything? Oh, there we go. Alright, that was Outlast. So, either by the end of today, or starting tomorrow, I will be doing the whistleblower. So, later!